it Josh your boy Ross back at you again with another video so I finally got a chance to check out Godzilla versus Kong I got to watch it at the uh, homies crib dub spot he got a nice little movie theater set up in a, at his crib so we definitely had a movie night last night to check out the film on HBO Max and I must say I definitely enjoyed it I think uh, we both enjoyed it actually man it was it's it's an, an action-packed movie it's what you really want when you think of Godzilla versus Kong that's really what you want you want to see them go at it um did it have some some uh, i guess you could say slow moments yes the human characters you really don't care too much about the story i think there's like only one human character that i cared about and that's the little girl that uh was saved by kong as her family um like the rest of her tribal family was pretty much wiped out by a storm that happened on Kong uh, Skull Island. Um, if you guys remember uh, Kong Skull Island, there was like a tribe of people that stayed on the island. That's basically her tribe, but they were all wiped out and King Kong saved her. So that's really the only character you care about. Uh, she's a uh, she's a deaf character. So she only, you know, she can only communicate with sign language. And it's, it's cool to see her dynamic with King Kong because King Kong can actually communicate with her you know what I'm saying so it's 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 really the only character in the film this person can't say any lines verbally but they they are the only character you tend to care about everyone else is just like yeah you just want to get back to the Godzilla King Kong destruction that's it you know um I enjoyed it. Did I enjoy this more than the previous Godzilla movie, Godzilla King of the Monsters? I actually did. I think they kind of answered the fans' like request on, we want to see more Godzilla, and if you're going to have Kong involved, we want to see more of Kong. And they kind of start the movie off with Kong, and then maybe 15 minutes within to the movie, Godzilla pops up. And it's a nice little action set piece. Like I said at the beginning of the review, it's kind of actually action-packed when the action is actually getting to, like, rev up. It's it's crazy. It's like it'll have an action scene, and then it'll slow down for characters going through the plot. Then, like another action big action scene and the action scenes kind of last for a little bit you know what i'm saying so anytime something exciting is happening on the screen you're definitely gonna be getting your money's worth so honestly man this is a movie i definitely wish i could have seen in theaters if you're able to see it in theaters go see it i recommend anyone that's a fan of these godzilla movies or you're a fan of monster movies giant monster movies go see it some people may say, and I've seen some people review that, you know what I'm saying, it may not be worth your time because you still have to deal with the boring human characters. And, you know what I'm saying, you may want more of King Kong and Godzilla. Me, personally, I think it could have been a little bit more of them just talking, you know, exploring their backgrounds and their rivalry. But other than that, I think I definitely got what i wanted out of a king kong godzilla movie and i think dub would agree there was a few times we just you know what I'm saying just turning up like we're getting amped we're getting excited for what's happening on the screen because when they brawl and fight they fight they throw down and i love it man uh, the cgi looks fantastic and like i said i really wish I could have seen this in theaters. So if you have the opportunity, go see this in theaters. If you can't, you know, see you, I would at least hope you guys have like a, a nice little sound system, nice little surround sound system to really just get the feel and the magnitude of these huge ass animals, man. But I don't want to really go into spoiler detail. I'm just kind of keeping it vague. I will make a spoiler video talking about, you know, what's really going on in the movie but if you haven't had a chance to check it out it's on hbo max go check it out i think you guys will enjoy it if you enjoyed the last one uh godzilla king of the monsters i think you will like this even more honestly out of the little monster universe they've had for me personally this is my favorite one only because i got what i wanted I knew I was going to have some characters that I didn't really care about, majority of them, but that's just the further of the plot. But when the plot was going, they were getting to the points where you wanted to see Kong, Godzilla fight. That's it. That's when they got there, they got there. The climax of the movie is probably some of the best 
crazy action set piece i've seen in a very long time and it was very enjoyable so definitely if you have a chance go check out the movie i definitely recommend it like i said these these type of movies they know what they are it's some stuff in the movies i know if you really think about it uh, like logically you'll be like that doesn't make sense do not go into these type of movies like that go into these type of movies strictly just knowing what you're about to get get some popcorn get whatever you want to get sit back and relax and watch two giant ass creatures destroy the world trying to prove who is the superior monster who is the real king of all the monsters so hey man this was enjoyable definitely uh, I, I can't wait for you guys to comment down below let me know if you guys have even you know got a chance to see the, the movie or are you gonna check it out over the weekend and please no spoilers down below just keep it spoiler free i will be dropping a spoiler filled video so we can have our discussion there but i appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace